Mark chapter 5, verses 21 to 43, uh, describes two healing miracles, two stories which follows on from the earlier part of the chapter where Jesus healed a man possessed by a legion of demons. Earlier in chapter 5, so Jesus showed that he had power over spiritual beings and now he demonstrates his power over physical conditions, over physical chronic illness and ultimate power even over death. As I have said before, Jesus does not count the cost of healing. The kingdom of God is not utilitarian, does not care to try and find out who should be healed, who gets healed and when and how. No, there is no counting of cost involved, just the generosity of God manifested through the work of Christ. So there is a cost involved here, but Jesus completely overlooks it because he is above it and he has power. Jesus, we see in the story, is ready to approach and to be approached by those who need him, regardless of circumstances. And it is the circumstances that we too often look at rather than the person. The care, the love, the healing that Jesus brings crosses boundaries. Crosses boundaries of ethnicities, for, of ethnicity. For example, we've seen that earlier in the chapter when the man possessed by the legion of demons, well, he was non-Jewish and, and regardless, he was cured by him. He crosses boundaries of gender. He crosses whatever boundary we may have in mind, regardless of social convention and what people think and regardless of purity laws. In this passage of Mark's Gospel, Jesus is in contact with a woman who had a chronic hemorrhage. Somebody who was bleeding was ritually unclean and could make others unclean. But is Jesus unclean? Does he care? No. Does he reprimand the woman? No. He simply wants to know who touched him. There's no judgment there. Later in the story, he touches the dead girl. Touching cadavers, touching bodies, dead bodies, would make you potentially ritually unclean. Does Jesus care? Is he ritually unclean? No. And early in chapter 5, he cured and was in contact with a man from not Jewish background. Does that make him unclean? Is he bothered? No. Jesus does not care about these things. Jesus chooses chooses to leave the people he meets in a better condition than when he finds them, regardless the cost. Now, what about us? What about us as Christians? As I said, I think sometimes we focus too much on the circumstances of those who need healing, help, our prayers, our love, our kindness, 
rather than on the person itself, him or herself. And quite often our care, our attention, our kindness, our love, our healing does not cross boundaries. For the fear, for the fear of being, quote unquote, richly unclean. For the fear of being judged by others. Well, Jesus, our pioneer and leader of our faith, as the letter to the Hebrews describe him, does not care about these things. So neither should we. May God give us the courage and the grace to do so.